As you probably know, I work on station WC. It's a national station. They've got two radio stations. In the we got the parable of the sower and we got the parable of the weeds up in the Holy B by King G. And here we have the Musa, Professor Musa. Key Musa. The director of my radio station, he couldn't deal with the lyrics, but then he said, I'm going to number one after only four weeks. Who will it be? Who will it be? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Come on, let's hear it. Ay, ay, ay. Once again, Esau began to teach beside the sea, and such a large crowd gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it, while all the people crowded along the shore. And he taught them many things in parables, and in his teaching he said, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed, and as he was sowing, some seed fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured it. Some fell on rocky ground where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun rose, the seedlings were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the seedlings. And they yielded no crop. Still other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the seedlings, choked the seedlings, and they yielded no crop. Still other seed fell on good soil, where it sprouted, grew up, and produced a crop, one bearing thirtyfold, another sixtyfold, another a hundredfold. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. As soon as Jesus was alone with the twelve and those around him, he, they asked him about the parable. He replied, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to those on the outside everything is expressed in parables, so that they may be ever seeing but never perceiving, and ever hearing but never understanding, otherwise they might turn and be forgiven. Then Jesus said to them, do you not understand this parable? How will you understand any of the parables? <laughs> the farmer sows the word. Some are like the seeds along the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown in them. The pathway. Some are like the seeds on rocky ground. Rocky and rap quick. <laughs> They hear the word and at once receive it with joy. Skits out rackets, but they themselves have no root, and they remain only for a season. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Others are like the seed sown among the thorns. They hear the word, but the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desire for other things come in and choke the word and it becomes unfruitful, the sixtyfold path. Still others are like the seed sown on good soil. So that was the thorn sixty, sexy thorns, uh, sexy horny. And uh, thirty is a rocky ground, rocky and rap quake with sit all up in your ass, man. <laughs> Only three inches of hard dick. <laughs> and uh, the thorns get six inches, good for me. But I want the good, good, <laughs> the good soil, rather. They hear the word, receive it, and produce a crop. Thirty-fold, sixty-fold, or a hundred-fold. I need hundred, wait a kali, wait. <laughs> yeah. 
And the parable of the leaf is you gotta let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Till the time comes to burn the ones who bring the woe. To man, to offenses, man. The lesson of the lamb. Does anyone bring in a lamb to put it under a basket or under a bed? Doesn't he set it on a stand? There is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed and nothing concealed that will not be brought to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. He went on to say, Jesus also said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And even more will be added to you. For whoever has... Way.